This is my idea of a makeup video. I come on here, I'm like, okay, I have a green eyeshadow and a bag of chips. <laughs> like, who wants to hang out? <laughs> Well, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back. So for today's video, we are going to be doing a very chill, very informal um, makeup try-on haul for all the stuff that I picked up during the Netta Porter sale. And I thought it would be cool to sit down and, like I said, just hang out with you guys, test out the makeup. And, of course, you guys know me. I'm going to put the honest right up front. Um, I'm filming this at almost 6 o'clock at night, so it's been a very long day. And the sun is going down. It's not going to be like a wear test or anything like that. But I still thought it would be fun to just, like, sit down, hang out, do this kind of video and really just like I don't know hang out with each other I feel like I'm, for first of all I'm sitting here in my pajamas I hope you guys are also in yours because oh my god pajamas are life um like I don't want anything restrictive on my body right now I just want to like feel the flowy goodness I should probably take my glasses off that glare is gonna drive me crazy and of course before we get into the video if you haven't subscribed yet turn on your post notifications all the good things please don't forget to do that before you leave I put up three new videos a week Monday Wednesday Friday they usually go up around 7 a.m. my time but like <laughs> lately it's been a little bit off kilter but uh, normally it's three videos a week like I said Monday Wednesday Friday around 7 a.m. my time and of course if you haven't checked me out yet over on Instagram or on Twitter those will both be linked down below I am of course as most of you know more active on Instagram whether it's my daily insta stories IGTVs plus size fashion pictures regular makeup pictures or just whatever the world has to offer that's where you will find it from me but uh, they will both be listed down below if you'd like to check those out and without any further ado you guys let's go ahead and get into the video let's just do this because here I still sit with nothing on my face. Hello. Also, just so you guys know, I brought a snack <laughs> because that's just what I do. Um, these are popcorners and the variety is kettle corn, sweet and salty. And you guys, if you have not tried these, I implore you to try these chips, okay? They are so good. They're really just the perfect assembly of like everything you're looking for. They have crunch, they have that sweet, they do have like a little tinge of salt, but not too much. And they're just not overwhelming in any one way. But I just wanted to let you guys know um, that this was happening. Just in case you hear the bag, you hear me chewing, and you're like, Paige, what's that noise? <laughs> me, that's what the noise is. Oh my God. Mm. It is me de-stressing. It's me getting the day off. And it's me um, eating my emotions <laughs> because today was a very long day. That's right, water. Girls getting in some water. Woo! All right, guys, so I went through all of the makeup that I have, uh, which I picked up about nine items total from the sale, and there wasn't, like, a primer specifically in it, so I just threw on a little bit of the Tatcha Silk Canvas, the liquid version, just to get everything, like, as a whole primed. But then on top of that, I am going to go in with a little bit of this, which, of course, I did pick up from the sale. This is the Ilia Liquid Light Serum Highlighter, and at first, I was just thinking, like, oh, it's, you know, a liquid highlight, you know, something I would maybe put on over foundation. But then I was reading on the side here and it says that this is a gel-based serum highlighter that provides a fresh luminous glow while fusing the benefits of makeup and skincare. And I thought it would just work, you know, underneath the foundation, like maybe we could get that glow to come through because in my experience, oh, that's beautiful. Anything that has that type of a consistency, especially when it's more of a gel-based serum, you know, kind of hybrid, it does actually work pretty well under the, uh, the foundation. So I'm I'm just gonna take a little bit of this. Oh wow, ooh, that's pretty. I'm just rubbing this into the high points of my face. Um, a little bit on the nose, but mainly over like the cheekbone right there. Oh God, that's beautiful. I really like how nice that looks. And it actually does settle in incredibly fast. Like you can't, you can't even detect that on the skin. My skin feels exactly the same, like right here as it does everywhere else. That is crazy how quickly that settled in. All right, now from here, we're gonna be testing out a foundation. This is from NARS, and this is their All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. And I have this in the shade Light 2 Mont Blanc. And that is the same shade that I get their other foundation in, which is the uh, Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. And look at how cute this little baby one is, by the way. Isn't this so cute? Um, I got this from, I wanna say Alta, I'll link it down below below. It has beautiful coverage. It sits really nice on the skin. And like overall, it's just a beautiful foundation. When I saw this one on the Netta Porter website, I thought it would be cool to test it out because it's actually a formula from NARS I haven't tested. So I'm just going to go ahead here and spray. Oh my God, that's so liquidy. Wait, it's like it's absorbing almost immediately into my sponge. Okay. I didn't know that it was that level of lightweight. Okay. Oh, <laughs> whoops. Let's go ahead and just get this onto the skin without hopefully all of it absorbing into the sponge. I really didn't know it was that thin. Holy crap. The coverage isn't bad either. Like, again, for it being so thin, I thought that it would be, truthfully, I thought it would be kind of shitty coverage and it's like a light medium, but I also only did one coat. So like, 
that's not too shabby, damn. All right, so a couple of things, now that I've like, you know, just been sitting here really pressing this into the skin for a few minutes. First thing, as far as the coverage goes, I don't think it's worth building up. I feel like it looks a little bit heavier in those areas. So I would just kind of leave this at whatever coverage you get and don't go any farther. I think it looks nice. It's a nice light medium, but once you start to try and tip that scale, I don't think it's worth it as far as the way that it sits on the skin. Number two, and this was probably the most concerning thing just because I know my skin, the consistency of this is so thin and so liquidy that I was really worried about how it would like settle into my wrinkles, my pores, my crevasses, and uh, with good reason <laughs> because on my nose it's looking very crepey, very funky. So I think for me this would be the type of foundation that yes I could use it like over the cheeks and whatnot, but in areas like around my mouth, on my nose where I have like a ton of pores, wrinkles, you know, you know again that sort of stuff, um, I think this would be a place where I would probably want the concealer to be number one, the first layer that goes down and then use the foundation just as a way to kind of blend everything together. All right, so for the next couple of steps, I don't have anything from the sale, so I'm just gonna go in with a little concealer. This is the Dose of Colors Concealer Meet Your Hue in the shade 3 Fair. And I'm not going in super heavy with the concealer just because this one does have a little bit more coverage to it, and I wanna make sure that the coverage between the concealer and the foundation match. And then really quickly, I am gonna set the under eyes as well, so I'm just taking a little bit here of my Maybelline Fit Me. This is in 05 Fair per usual. It's one of my favorite, favorite setting powders. I need a chip, chip, chip. Oh no! Five seconds, everyone. <laughs> We're not gonna talk about it. Okay, I just missed my mouth. We're not gonna talk about that either. <laughs> All right guys, so we need to have a conversation. This product I'm holding in my hand, this is the Marc Jacobs Glow Away Bronzing Coconut Body Stick in the shade Tantastic, and this was the product, okay? The product that I was the most excited about. I'm not talking just your average excitement, all right? This is like next level, the whole reason I shopped the damn sale excitement, and I just got it opened, again, opening everything fresh, had not even opened the box previous to this video, and I just looked at the top of this, and this has definitely been used. It has been swatched, there's a fucking fingerprint in it. This is so gross, you guys, I'm so mad. I mean, you guys do know me, obviously, cause like, I'm on here all the time, I'm super weird, but like, the level of gag that I get when I end up receiving makeup that I purchased that other people have touched, I think it is so unbelievably disgusting, and I'm like, oh God, like normally I would just screw it back up and I'd be done with it, but I was so excited to test this out, like so unbelievably excited. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is just wipe off the top of it, like with a makeup wipe, and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go for it, I'm gonna try it, and I'm still gonna give it a fair shake, but like, I'm so gross, I'm so grossed out. Yeah, we're just gonna wipe it off, okay? That's what we're gonna do, we're gonna wipe it off, and that way we can still test it out. Hopefully there's no nasty germ. All right, so we're gonna call this good enough. I did take off a big old layer, and I'm gonna just go in here with my brush. This is the Fenty 125 Face Brush, and I'm gonna do a little bit of this here just so I can still control the amount of product. Just gonna go in and start um, shaping out the face lighter and then kind of buffing it into the skin as I go. Doing a little bit of that. Oh wow, oh, wow. That that's a stripe you have there, Paige. What a, what a nice stripe. Okay, um, let's try to like buff it in a little bit. Somebody please explain to me what the hell is happening <laughs> right here on my face. Guys, I am so confused. Do you see? Do you see this? Like, why will this not blend? You guys, there is a literal line right here. I have it on both sides and it will not go away. There is my sponge. I need to like... Oh my God, I need to like press this in. Like, let's try to like fix it. So update, it's been a couple of minutes. I just went in with my sponge and like blended out, you know, all the product and just to see if I could soften up the line and get it to move around a little bit more. And I will admit it definitely helped move the product, but now I'm left wondering where did it move it to? <laughs> because I can't find it. Like, do you even see the bronzer anymore? I feel like it completely went away. Like where? Where'd she go? I can I can barely see it. And wasn't it a stripe like 17 seconds ago? So pretty much um, with a sponge, it blends away to nothing. And with a brush, it won't blend at all. Okay, <laughs> I just wanna make sure that I have that right. Now all of the sarcasm aside, I am just gonna go through and add a little bit more with the sponge and see if that kind of helps a little bit. Which don't get me wrong, it can always be the products underneath that are you know influencing the way that things are looking. 
but like so far wow what a what a roller coaster ride we have been on now i'm moving on to cream blush and i didn't have anything from the sale to test out for this so i'm just gonna grab a fenty cream blush this is in the shade strawberry drip and it's just more of like a brighter poppy shade and i'm gonna take a little bit of this and pop it on the cheek okay so here's the deal on camera i don't think it looks awful i don't think it looks great okay let's not get it twisted but the reality is right in this area there's a ton of foundation missing and it's from when i was trying to blend out this uh, marc jacobs stick right here so i'm not really obsessed with that fact but if you can get by it everything looks pretty good again camera is pulling i think a little bit better it is getting darker and darker outside next up we're gonna be getting into some cream highlight action and you can definitely tell where my mind was at when I was shopping this sale because I picked up three. So let's go ahead and take a look at all of them and uh, just kind of go from there. So the first one I have is from the brand Make. This is their Moon Stick and it looks like it's in the shade Moonbeam. All right, so that is a very interesting consistency. It's kind of like a wet, glidey, oily kind of feel. Like it has a lot of slip to it. I feel like this is the type of um, highlight that I would have to use under my foundation, not so much over top because it just feels like it has a lot of movement to it almost like if you were to take like a serum highlight and put it into a stick like it has that same kind of slip to it but more of an oil base because it does like I said it moves around a lot oh my god is this not the cutest packaging you've ever seen in your whole life this is from Ilia and this is their polka dot and moonbeams illuminator oh my god that name you guys this is so cute on so many levels all right so here is the swatch from Ilia it's actually very similar to the other one I think the main thing to note with this is the consistency because compared to the first one which like I said it had more of like that oily film kind of consistency to it this one has much more of a stiff feel so I, it's it's the type that I could put on top of foundation that I feel like would would more adhere versus moving around so the next one I have which I'm actually going to pause on this is from Burberry and this is their fresh glow highlighter but it looks like it is a powder according to the box and I missed that so I'm actually going to just put this one down we're not going to mess with it because obviously we're not to the powder stage yet and we're gonna stick with these and I'm thinking maybe just do one on each cheek so I'm gonna start off with the uh, the Ilia B now the way that I apply my cream highlights just because I am so used to having like texture and, and all kinds of stuff going on on my face I like to go in and just do a little bit of this action onto a sponge and then uh, kind of work it on in that way because I just find that it lifts up less foundation and ultimately it just presses better into my texture so I'm just gonna take, ooh, ooh, that's actually really beautiful. Oh my gosh. This has such a like smooth look on the skin. Can you guys see that? It looks very like what I would say is the, the lip from within kind of glow, but then you can build it from there to make it a little bit more punchy. For the other side, I actually have a clean sponge because <laughs> truthfully the other one's covered in makeup. And we're gonna go in with just a little bit of the, um, the make moon stick here oh my god is that as pretty as it looks on like in real life on camera so obviously i'm about ready to powder my face for those of you that are new here i powder my face every single day over top even if i go in with cream products i still go in with the powder over top to set everything down and while this does look really really beautiful on the skin without powder that doesn't necessarily mean that it will look great with powder because again that that consistency of um oil over here just having that more emollient stick like formula to it that doesn't always jive well with powders and in fact I, I would say statistically speaking in my experience they fight a little bit more but obviously I still like to play around with stuff like this even though it could go bad I just think that looks so beautiful oh my gosh like I'm actually I'm, su I'm surprised at how much I like that holy cow I just took a little bit and mixed it on this side as well just for like the smoothing effect oh my god like complexion wise that is just like Whew, it just smooths everything out. That's so pretty. But to set everything down, I am just going to keep using the Maybelline Fit Me here in 05 Fair. Same stuff I used on the under eyes. And I'm going to go in first and really try to set down the cheek region now that I know it's going to have a little bit more movement to it from that highlight. I'm going to go in now with a few more products and get all caught up. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury um, Airbrush Bronzer. This is in the shade Medium. 
I'm just gonna get this good and worked in. Then for blush, I'm grabbing the Lunar Beauty Moon Prism Blush Palette, and I'm just gonna mix these two middle shades, Twilight and Stargaze. Now that my face is looking pretty good, I'm just gonna go ahead and speed through brows really quickly, and for that, I'm gonna be using these two little guys, both of which are from Benefit, and they were both sent to me in PR. The first one is the Benefit Fool Proof Brow Powder in the shade 3, and then over top of that, I'm gonna use the Benefit Gimme Brow Brow Gel, and that one is in the shade 5. Okay, guys, so I am an absolute dinkus. I don't know what is wrong with me today. I just pulled this out of the box. Remember when I said, I don't have a cream blush. I don't have anything for blush. Yes, I did. <laughs> I'm sitting right here. It was literally right in front of me, but for my, in, for some reason, I thought it was an eye stick. This is the Ilia Color Haze Multi Matte Pigment. When I read about it on the website, it did say that it is a multi-use stick, so you can use it on your cheeks, your lips, your eyes, all that good stuff. But based on this consistency, I don't think this is the type of item I would put on my eyes. Look at how pretty that is. It's almost like, um, like a burnt, copper kind of color, a burnt orangey copper. And you know what, guys? Seems how I can't make it any worse. I'm gonna take a little bit of this and just put it on over the powder uh, because it just, it, my skin looks like shit anyways. <laughs> like this foundation, spoiler alert, it looks so bad. I look crepey, I look textured. It like, oh my God, it looks... It looks so bad. You know what, guys? That actually doesn't look bad over top of the powder, like, texture-wise at all up close. It's not that bad because, <laughs> again, I don't think I could make the actual complexion part look much worse. The color is actually really pretty. It added, like, a fun little warmthy type tone to it that I really like. But anyways, now it's time, actually, to, you know, go in with eyes. And for that, I have this little fellow from Burberry. This is their eye color, Wet and Dry Silk Shadow, and I have it in the shade Aqua Green number 309. Also, look at how cute the top of this is. Like, is that an Argyle sweater I see? <laughs> yes, it is. That's so adorable. Okay, so two different things that I'm just struck with immediately after opening. Number one, this color is beautiful. It's exactly how it looked on the internet. Big, big fan. Can't wait to apply it. That's number one. Number two, Burberry, what the hell are you doing giving me one of these little damn foamy applicators? I can't, okay? You are Burberry. You are supposed to be bougie. You are supposed to be extra. You're supposed to be something special, and you give me a foam applicator? No, okay, that is not what we do. Burberry, we are better than this. And by we, I mean you. Now I am gonna go in and just prime my lids with a little bit of concealer. This is just the uh, the CoverGirl concealer in, what shade is this? L100, this is their True Blend Undercover Concealer. Because this is the only shade I'm putting on my eyes, I'm just gonna take um, it on a fluffy brush. This is a Morphe E23. And I'm gonna start off by kind of fluffing it through the crease and making sure that I get it nice and blended. And then I'm just gonna pack it onto the lid, I think. I think that'll be the best way to do it. I actually really like that color. I feel like it's easy to use and it's actually building up really nicely. Like I wanted it obviously a little bit deeper onto the, onto the mobile lid down here. And I feel like I was able to achieve that while still getting like a nice blend up here like toward the brow bone. That's actually really pretty. And then of course, I'm just gonna go over to this side and do the exact same thing. I know, this is super exciting, very riveting stuff, Paige, well done. <laughs> I love that that's my idea. Like, this is my idea of a makeup video. I come on here, I'm like, okay, I have a green eyeshadow and a bag of chips. <laughs> like, who wants to hang out? Okay, <laughs> okay, 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 so here's the situation. At what point, I'm just asking for a friend. At what point do you apply the eyeshadow? And like, it looks good for a minute, right? Like, it looks good. I'm working it through the crease. And it's not that I think that this necessarily looks like bad in like the, you know, textbook definition or anything. But like, at what point do you just look at yourself and go, mm, might need to add a little something to that just to, just to play with the color? Because I'm getting like Mimi Bobic from, or Bobak, Bobic, Bobak from Drew Carey show, how she always had like that bright ass, per I think it was purple eyeshadow. I'm getting like that, but like if Kermit the Frog did it. <laughs> like it's just, it's a little bit overwhelming, a little bit intense. And I like it, again, I like the tone, but I just looked at myself and I was like, damn. You know, for a, for a neutral lady, okay, you're getting, you're getting a little bit crazy, a little bit, a little bit out there. Um, so I think I might take, when we go in with the highlighter and maybe I'll tap some of that like in the center just to break up all the green. But uh, the color, I mean, for what it is, I like the color, I think it's pretty. I like the way that it blended. Like, I don't have any issues with it in any other way. It's just, I'm so used to seeing myself with, like, basic bitch, brown, nude. Yes, please. Bronzer in the crease. Like, I just, I don't know how to react to this. <laughs> so, uh, it's, 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 it's taking me a minute. And you know what? Speaking of highlight, we're gonna go in next with that Burberry highlight, the one we already talked about. This is their Nude Gold Number no. 2 Fresh Gold Highlighter. 
Oh my God, Fresh Glow, I'm sorry, Fresh Glow highlighter. Look at how beautiful that print is. Like, can you guys see how detailed that is? It looks like a damn doily. <laughs> like, it's so unbelievably specific. That's so pretty, excuse me, do not focus, do not focus, thank you. You focus on what I tell you to focus on. Oh, I like the consistency, I like the color, I like, oh, I like, I like. Now at this point, before I go in with uh, any highlight, it is standard for me, I like to spray my face down just to help everything press together, which at this point, it's definitely not gonna save the look, okay? The skin is looking bad on no uncertain terms, but uh, I'm still gonna go ahead, set it just to be fair to the highlight, make sure that it gets a good chance to perform nicely. So I'm gonna go in here, this is a little bit of my Kylie Cosmetics setting spray. Oh my God, you guys, that is such a wet spray. <laughs> like when you spray it, it's like, bah, bah, bah. like, whoo, honey, grandma, grandpa, they're all talking to you and they are just spitting you for days. Now that my face is dried down, I'm just gonna apply some of the Burberry highlight with my Jelly Pop stipple brush. Oh. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, that's beautiful. Oh my God, I love that color. <gasps> you guys, this is probably the best thing I've tried so far. Like color, perfect, like tone, texture, all of that perfect. It looks so good. And like I mentioned before, I am gonna take some of it and uh, throw it on the inner corner and the brow bone. And then also I'm thinking just a little bit here, like in the dead center. Just kind of pop it all the way up to the brow bone maybe. Again, just, just to give a little bit of dimension of some kind because that's just a lot of green. It's a lot of uh, Kermit the Frog here and I feel like we could just use a little a little lilt of something. For mascara, we're gonna go in with some Stila Magnum Triple X mascara or Triple X Magnum, whatever you're supposed to call it. I'm just gonna go in with a few coats of this. And last but not least, it is finally time for some lipstick. This is the Edward Best Ultra Slip Lipstick and I have it in the shade Pure Impulse. Oh boy, okay, all right. That is a little bit lighter than I thought it was. Um, I thought it'd be a little, a little bit deeper than that so I'm gonna wipe off my lips and see if we can make this shade work god almighty now in terms of consistency this actually feels really nice like I'm not mad at that it's very glidy all right you guys with that the full face is done and complete and I'm gonna go ahead and throw up an up close truth be told at this point um my complexion looks more like disregarded tissue paper from my third birthday uh than it does like my skin like th this is ugh, this is rivaling the nastiest of complexion like situations that I've ever seen uh I'm so glad that I did not by the way put this on before work I would be so upset <laughs> unfortunately for me for today it just wasn't the most successful day um which is kind of a bummer because i mean for me i don't know about you guys you can let me know down below but i feel like whenever these sales happen whether they are on netta porter if they're on you know alta wherever they're at um i feel like these are the types of sales that are just they're the fun ones like this is where i pick up products that i wouldn't normally get to test like these burberry ones for example like a burberry eyeshadow a burberry you know highlight like i would never look at those full price and just be like oh like i need to test that but then i ultimately do get to test them when they go on sale at a place like this and, and i get to just play around with different things and and brands and textures and stuff that's just a little bit off the beaten path and you know what now that i think of it i was just looking at my uh, my receipt i had never played with the brand make before which was that highlight stick i had never played with burberry which i think i said and i'd never played with edward best which was the lipstick so overall like i said these sales for me they're just fun to do and i hope that you guys enjoy the video anyways moral of the story if you like these types of videos and you're into them let me know down in the comments and uh, if you didn't see it by the way I did another one of these I want to say three maybe four weeks ago from Bergdorf Goodman which I will link up here and uh, it's just again fun way new product stuff I hadn't tested before I think in that one I tested out a bunch of new Chantikai I want to say so definitely check that out if that's your thing thank you guys all so so much for watching I hope you have an amazing day night weekend whatever it is when you're watching this and I'll see you in the next one bye Okay, like, let's be real about this. If we take out the eyes, how do we feel about the lip? I actually don't hate the lip color. It's nice, it's comfortable, it's cute. So we take out the eyes and the lips look good. And I don't hate the eye color either. Maybe this is just the face or does it really look bad? Oh my God, I can't tell anymore, you guys. <laughs> this is me. <laughs> Trying to make sense of my life. Anybody know where I just put the lid to this? Really quickly, like, you know, asking for a friend. And by a friend, I mean my sanity. Ugh, water. I wanted something flavored like Diet Coke. Okay, literally any of these will work, Paige. Just grab any of them.
except for that one. <laughs>